Hello everyone. It's been a little while since I posted, so I am going to read us two new uh, storybooks. The first one will be called The New Librarian. Librarian. Um, it's namely for my nephew Luca, but I thought it a shame not to share it with everyone else. So, here we are. Read the description just briefly for you. Story time at the library. But the librarian isn't there. Where is she? Why is her desk sticky with honey? And who's sitting behind it? Could it be a new librarian? Well, maybe. But it certainly looks like a bear. A magical story about the magic of stories. Watch out for bears. The new librarian. The new librarian. Story by Alison Donald and pictures by Alex Wilmore. Okay, let's see. It was almost story time. The children were ready. Dee couldn't wait. Isn't it time? she asked, but no one answered. Jack looked around. Our librarian isn't here, he said. Maybe she's just late, said Dee. Miss Merriweather is never late, said Kenzie. Then she's missing, said Dee. Let's go find her. See you center this <laughs> okay look a clue footprints said d these aren't grown-up footprints said jack they are kid footprints said alex d looked closer they're paw prints she declared They followed the paw prints among the bookshelves, through a galaxy, into an ocean, and down a runway. Lots of amazing stuff happening. And spotted more clues. The librarian's desk feels sticky, said Jack. These books are shredded and torn, said Dee. And then they looked up and saw... A new librarian. He's a hungry librarian. He or she. You're not our librarian. Where's Miss Merriweather? Dee asked. The new librarian shrugged. Will you read us a story? Dee asked. The new librarian nodded. Hooray! cried the children. A princess story? A pirate story? A book about dragons? The new librarian... The new librarian looked bored. How about something different? Gemma suggested. Something exciting, said Jameson. Something we aren't allowed to read, said Tom. Did you read us a scary story? asked Gabe. The new librarian's ears perked up. He grabbed a book. About bears. He opened the book and roared. Eee! The children screamed. He growled and stumped and roared some more. The children loved it. Read again, get, eh. Read it again, they cried. Someone's coming, said Dee. It was the missing Miss Merriweather. Sorry I'm late, she said. A volcano erupted in the ancient history section, and there was hot lava everywhere, but it's all cleared up now. Miss Merriweather opened her book. Today's story is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Ooh, we love bear stories, he exclaimed.
Once upon a time, there were three bears. Papa bear, mama bear, and baby... Oh, where's baby bear? The children cried. I know you're hiding, baby bear, said Miss Merriweather. It's time to come out now. The new librarian shuffled over sheepishly. The new librarian shuffled over sheepishly. Baby bear, my dear, you're late for story time too, said Miss Merryweather. The children waved goodbye as Baby Bear stepped back into his story. Now let's start again, said Miss Merryweather. And Baby Bear, a little girl, came to the house. Wait. Where's Goldilocks? You know, don't you? The end. With our dear bear looking at I Heart Books. That was, once again, the new librarian. Now we're going to continue with Circle Dunlaps. This book will not be fun. <clears throat> Welcome to my book. I assume you're reading this flap because you found the title invite because you found the title inviting and are eager to read a book that promises no nonsense. Well, rest assured, there will be no nonsense. Here you will only find sense and logic and scientific facts. So please take a seat in an ergonomic chair, sit up straight, and read attentively. Pay no mind to the draft on a bicycle. Let's see. Once again, this book will not be fun. This book will not be fun. I'm just going to sit in silence and wait for the book to be over. I don't know why you're still here. Even this flying whale is bored, bored, bored. Wait, did you see that flying whale? Oh, unusual. Well, never mind. I assure you nothing like that will ever happen again. Absolutely not. It appears the flying whale ate my words. He is a word-eating flying whale, according to my encyclopedia of creatures that do not exist. He must have taken a wrong turn into my book. Oh, it seems the word-eating flying whale has brought a friend. It is a nice boring worm. That's good to know. I like boring things. Why have the lights suddenly gone out? Ah, it appears the worm is a glow-in-the-dark kung fu worm. I will have to tell him to leave because this causes too much excitement. Yeah, whoa! The kung fu world. Where did they go? I suppose we'll have to follow this worm's footprints. We will follow them, but only in a boring way. We will not enjoy going around the loop to loop. And we will not have fun as it zigs and zags and crosses around. We will definitely not like hopping across this page. Ah, a light switch. I can only hope the walls are taupe. Taupe? I never know how to say that word. What is this? No, 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 no. It's a giant zero-gravity dance party filled with impossible creatures. 
I did not sign up for this. I cannot. I will not. Shock and awe. Oh, but I do like this song. It's got plenty of notes and a fine, sturdy rhythm. It can't hurt to tap just one toe, or two toes, or all of my toes. Oh, look at me, I'm shaking my bottom, as it were. Quite pleasant, who knew? As promised, this book was not fun. Well, it was not fun for you. I had a great time. The End By the way, there's nothing exciting happening back here. Alright, that'll do it. I hope you all enjoyed. Hope you feel better, Luca. <laughs>